So turtles that and tortoises that live in uh, dry climates um, like deserts and grasslands tend to have some different uh, temperature and um, habitat guidelines. Um, so again, keeping to the basics of setting up an enclosure, first of all, you want to pick the right size of enclosure. The bigger, the better. Uh, people always ask this to me. There's no exact size recommendation. Um, you just want the largest enclosure that you can provide. The other thing uh, to s begin setting up the enclosure is uh, picking a substrate. So substrate is just the material you put at the bottom uh, of the enclosure. So a desert uh, turtle or tortoise might be living uh, on a sandy or dirty or even rocky uh, base. And you can try and mimic that in your enclosure, but keep in mind um, that we do see a lot of tortoises um, that will eat their substrate or their bedding. Um, so that includes small rocks and sand and dirt. Um, so you want to be very careful about that and, and make sure that that's not happening in your environment. The other thing that all turtles and tortoises need um, would be a source of heat. Keeping in mind uh, they are ectotherms, that means that they rely on the temperature of their environment to regulate their own body temperature. So it's very important that you provide a heat source. So in, in desert climates, Obviously, it can get very warm during the day, so we're looking at providing uh, a heated area of enclosure um, that's probably upwards of 90 to 100 degrees. Desert species also uh, tend to cool off quite a lot at night, so the temperature can drop down at night uh, to 70 degrees or even a little bit below. We call that creating a thermal gradient. Um, reptiles, again, they're going to move within their environment um, to warmer places um, and cooler places as they require it to maintain their core body temperature. The other thing that's very important in desert species would be the um, exposure to ultraviolet light. So we call this UVB or ultraviolet B radiation. Um, this is part of the sun's natural light. This is very important uh, in these turtles and tortoises for the synthesis of vitamin D and for a normal calcium metabolism. Without UVB light, um, they can develop um, many different types of metabolic issues. The next most important thing would be diet. Um, a lot of these species uh, are eating grasses, leaves, flowers, um, and again, you want to look up whatever your species is that you have and try and figure out what its natural diet is like and try and replicate that as best you can.